What is going on, you guys? It is your boy DJ back with more Angelina Jordan reactions on this, the Temple Music Academy channel. Look, if you're new to the channel or returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I love you all the same. Please do your boy a solid and like, comment, subscribe, clicking the bell notification below. The links to everything this channel is about will be in the description below. And special shout out to all of you that have been helping me grow our Twitch community. Our, we're even available now on the Patreon channel, on our Discord community. All of you guys have been a massive support and I can't believe how rapidly the Twitch community is growing. I love you guys for that. Now that being said, if I'm gonna thank the community, I should best listen to the community and you guys have been telling me about Angelina Jordan posting a new cover of a Whitney Houston song called I Have Nothing. At one of these parts, I'm gonna mention that this video is kind of part of a dual set. We're gonna do both this video and Angelina Jordan performing it live. So make sure you guys have both videos in your arsenal and viewing perusal depending on which one I decide to put this out. <laughs> we'll see which one comes first. Look, I don't wanna waste too much time. I haven't seen a lot of Angelina Jordan in a while, so it's nice to see some new material and I'm stoked about it. So as we do, I've got my headphones right here. I've got Angelina Jordan right there, but most importantly, I've got you guys with me as always. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Magic Finger does the work. Let's watch it go. You know what I like actually from the previous Angelina Jordan videos, I really like that we're starting to see even more high level like uh, videography, text placements, graphic and titles, and overall just the way it's been shot. I, I'm really starting to dig how we're seeing even a higher level than that. That being said, Angelina always did stuff like this back in the day, but, but I still love that she's maintaining that quality control and that honesty in that way. You know, and it makes it really like vibrant, like she cares about the product she's putting out, which is why it makes it easy for me to respect her as an artist. Okay, you notice that? So we're getting really breathy at first, which means she can, it, she's able to, when this breathy like this, to control the placement of the sound to make it become powerful in a crescendo, kind of over, over enveloping everything that we're hearing. So she'll get breathy, 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 power. So directional, and it makes it just fill out the sound and you just get super warm from the feeling. Take my love, I'll never ask for too much. And just all that you are And everything that you do mm. I don't really need to look Very much further I don't want to have to Yeah, we gotta rewind that. You hear the tonal change now. It's frontal placement, meaning that she's pushing it to the front of her mouth. This is gorgeous, man. I love this. We're getting a power difference, a tone difference. Ah. <laughs> Watch this switch right here. I don't really need to look very much yes. further. I don't want to have to go where you don't follow. Oh. I don't want it back again. This passion inside. I can't run from myself. There's no way to hide. But oh.
that was cool because we use a term called vamping, which is kind of like uh, anytime you want to improvise a section, you have somewhat of a realm of like what you're allowed to do in the key key signatures and things like that. But Whitney Houston had these really cool vamp sections, which you just be like, oh, oh, oh. And that was one of them, but that was one of them done Angelina Jordan style with different placement and that old school just feel. I've said before, she has this feel of an old jazz soul. I've said that before. It's, oh, it's beautiful. Also, before I forget, I want to say this is one of the best mixes I have heard in a long time. I have commented on previous videos before where I thought the drums were kind of either undermixed or overmixed. This is perfect. The backing track is right there. She's in time with the backing track perfectly, but she's the most important person of the sound mix. This is great. The coolest thing for me is Angelina Jordan's always been very, very good, but we're starting to see the maturity come out. Now, there's a slang term in music that we use as musicians where it's kind of a really bad pun in a way where we're playing with the backing track, meaning that we're manipulating the backing track to our will. It's so below our ability or we're so in the pocket that we can start to manipulate sections and time feels, or we can start to manipulate tonalities and just harmony values. Anything that we want, we can manipulate this. We are playing with it we are manipulating at will that's what she's doing with this backing track you can hear her she's just like a little bit early pause late on purpose power this one pull back that one vibrato over here she's manipulating and messing with it she's toying with it essentially and that shows a level of maturity that i'm excited to see with angelina i don't really need to look very much further it's a good shot that's a great shot Back again, this passion aside, I can't run from myself. There's no way to hide your love. I remember forever, but don't make me collapse. One more door. I don't want to hurt anymore. Great job. Stay Vocal harmony, cool, cool. I have nothing, nothing, nothing. If I don't have you, you're, if I don't have you, if I don't have you. Hell yeah. Same note as the bodyguard there at the end, right? Let's talk. So what's always cool is to see Angelina come at these things and make it her own, but this was the first time I saw that level of maturity in the musician that gets me really hyped to see what's going to come down the pipe soon. Angelina's always had this raw talent, this like old jazz soul kind of feel to everything that she does. 
And inevitably, what we're seeing now is the maturity level rising and her ability and bag of tricks, if you will, which I hate using that phrase, but the bag of tricks she has to pull from are now phenomenal. Manipulating that click track and messing with it, or the backing track, I should say, manipulating it and messing with it, toying with it the way that she did showed an absolute maturity that just gets me hyped for things to come. Whitney Houston is an icon, and if we're at all lucky, we might get a chance to see Angelina Jordan turn into that same level of icon, or perhaps even beyond. Only time's gonna tell. Guys, I hope you loved this video. I loved hanging out with you. We're gonna do a double feature on this one, so find its twin, where I react to Angelina Jordan doing this song live. I can't wait to show you guys. Look for it wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you are kicking ass and taking names, because you deserve it, I said so. And as we always say around here, Watch it go.